I'm going to go over using the ascorbic acid in your pool. I'm going to go ahead and use some metal sequestering agents and put two pounds in my pool here. Basically just vitamin C in powdered form. I'm also going to show you a second treatment with the stain free and with some more sequestering agent. And I'm also going to show you real quick the Cellulator metal eliminator. And this is the only effective way to remove the metal ions from your pool uh, besides draining all the water and refilling the pool. So if the vitamin C tablet test is successful, you want to go ahead and do the ascorbic acid treatment to your pool, and I'll walk you through the steps right now. Put on this step here, and I'm going to leave it here and see if it takes away that stain underneath there. I'll come back in a little bit and check it. After about half an hour, the vitamin C tablet melted here. Let me see if it took off some of that staining. And so that black stain did get a little bit lighter, so... The ascorbic acid might do something in this pool. We'll see how it turns out. It's the vitamin C tablet to test the spot. You notice it's turning a dark black. You probably don't want to do this method. Uh, that's probably a copper based stain. Sometimes the ascorbic acid will remove the copper stain depending on what stage it's at. Other times it may turn it blacker. You want to be very really careful with that. It's very effective against iron and other kind of staining. What you want to do is zero out your chlorine or get it as close to zero as possible. Chlorine will interfere with the metal sequestering agents and also will bond with the ascorbic acid and make it less effective. So you're pretty much wasting your money if you have a high chlorine level in here and you put the ascorbic acid in here. So the pH is 7.2 to 7.4 and you also want the alkalinity at about 80 or 90 when you start the process. And all this is to help the metal sequestering agents and also the ascorbic acid be, to be effective in the pool. You're also going to need some metal sequestering agents to add to your pool. So the only way to eliminate the metal from your water again is to drain all the water or to use a later, and this will trap the metal ions here and then you just throw this away after 30 days. So you just want to throw the later in your pump, fill it up with water and leave it in there for 30 days. I'm going to turn the pool on and we're going to set up the run for 24 hours for this process. You want to use about one pound of ascorbic acid for 10,000 gallons. So I have a 2.2 pound bag I got online here. It was about $25, including shipping. Pour the ascorbic acid around the perimeter of the pool. So I poured the whole 2.2 pound bag around the perimeter of the pool. See on the steps, a lot of the staining has been taken care of by the ascorbic acid here. So the ascorbic acid was fairly successful in this pool. It did lighten some of the stains up in it. Here, this next day, I'm going to go ahead and test the water. Sometimes the uh, absorbic acid will drop the pH and alkalinity down, so I'm going to see what the reading's at. If the pH is down, I'm going to go ahead and add some borax to bring it up without moving the alkalinity. And if the alkalinity is down but the pH is fine, I'll go ahead and add some baking soda to bring up the alkalinity. And then you want to slowly bring up your chlorine level in your pool by using Clorox bleach or liquid chlorine. And so, if you're satisfied with the results, you can go ahead and start raising your chlorine level and bringing your pH and alkalinity back up. Try to keep the pH at 7.2, 7.0, for at least a week or two. And the pH looks fine here. It's about 7.2 in here, so that should be good. I'm not going to mess with raising it up with the borax right now. My alkalinity is at right now. So it's right about 80, so I'm going to leave it like that right now. If it was a little bit lower, I would add some baking soda to bring it up. But I'm going to leave my chlorine at zero still right now at this point. I'll raise it up in a few days after I do another treatment. Okay, I'm back four days later. I'm going to go ahead and use the natural chemistry stain free. It's an absor absorbic acid type chemical also. And then after an hour, I'm going to go ahead and put Jack's Magic Magnetic stuff in. It says add one pound per 10,000 gallons. This is about one and a half pounds here in this container. I'm going to go ahead and add the two of these into my pool. Second one here, I'm going to go ahead and pour it around. It doesn't say on the packaging, but you want to run your pool for 24 hours to get the chemical dispersed and then get the staining off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the pool on and let it run for 24 hours. I'm going to wait an hour and I'm going to pour the metal sequestering agent in the pool. 
So I'll dump it around the edge of the pool here. And in the back of the stain free, the instructions also say to brush the pool down, to vacuum the pool 24 hours later, to use a pulp based filter aid, and to clean the filter. And that part of the instructions is not going to be affected. The only way to eliminate metals from your pool water is to drain all the water out, fill it with new water, or to use the See you later, metal eliminator. So all together with the azorbic acid and the stain free, I put about five pounds of azorbic acid in the pool. It did lighten the stains up, but again, they're not totally eliminated from the pool itself. I'm going to level up slowly by adding a little bit of liquid chlorine. I'm going to bring up the one part per million. You want to add enough chlorine to keep it at one or two parts per million. You don't want to shock your pool for at least two weeks after doing this process. Actually try to avoid shocking your pool if possible at all. So the results will vary depending on your pool and the type of stains you have. Sometimes the ascorbic acid will remove all of the stains in your pool, especially if it's a fiberglass or vinyl pool you have greater success. You want to definitely add the maintenance dose of your sequestering agent also to keep the metals from dropping back into the pool as you raise the chlorine up. And keep the pH below 7.4. That'll keep the metals from reforming in the pool.